Hi, Natasha. So we're here today at Urban Curls. Ah, uh, see it, see it, see it. And um, we're gonna be giving Natty a curly cut to get that shape right and popping. Cause as you can see, she got the length, but uh, you need some help, boo. You need some help. <laughs> so how are you feeling today? Um, a little nervous because you know, in general salon, you know, say yeah, yeah, I'll just give you a little shape, and then all your hair is gone. Um, and I feel like I worked hard to get my hair this long, but. <laughs> So for the people, may I ask you to take a slow rotation so we can get a before and after. To give you bangs, I think would be pretty dope. Mm -hmm. But we just have to balance it a little bit more around the face here. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Because I always yeah. just like, okay, I'm just like. <laughs> Otherwise, though, I mean, your hair feels very strong. You know? Um, let's check out the ends. <laughs> it's really long on top, which makes it go like this mm -hmm. when the shape is uh, in its curl. And it's almost too bad. I'm just really concerned about your scalp, so I would just suggest mm -hmm. that every two weeks the scalp treatment is done until you don't see the breaks anymore, okay? Um, my name is Keena Morgan, and I'm from Urban Curls. Urban Curls hey. Hair Studio. <laughs> and what are we doing on Natty today? So we're doing the full works on her. Um, we started out with a consultation, and um, we analyzed her hair and scalp and uh, we decided that we're going to do a scalp treatment and a hair treatment. Uh, give her the full curl session. Um, we're also going to trim her hair, give her a really nice shaping, and style her up curly and see, see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. So we do have like treatments that we make and um, we give to our clients to help maintain their hair at home as well. So we will like make our own treatments Okay. From other other things that we put together. So, how often should someone be exfoliating their scalp? I mean, it depends on, on uh, the situation, right? So, I explained to Natasha every two weeks she should be exfoliating her scalp until it gets better. Is this something we can do at home, or is it best to kind of come in and get a treatment? It's it's good to come and get it treated, but I mean, if you are not accessible to the salon, it's good to do it at home. You know? If someone wants to do this, like, you know, you do it yourself, like as a maintenance thing, I know you said every two weeks until it's gone, but like, would you do it like once a month, once every other month? Um, when the season changes, if, it, if you don't have any issues, mm -hmm. like a season change thing, because um, the scalp gets affected by the environment too, and the, the hair just get affected, you know, the changes in our environment, so. What's the importance of getting a great shape for your curls and kind of um, shaping the face? Well, a great shape is going to help for your, your hair to grow out a lot better. And it's also going to help with um, the way how your curls sit. You know, they actually sit a lot more curlier when um, they're, they're kind of cascading, cascading um, down on each other. You know, it's kind of cascading down and it, it sits a lot better than it's all in one spot. It's just important to trim your hair too, you know, just to help with, with um, the hair getting knotted at the ends. 
the splitting or breaking. And with curly hair, it's more susceptible to the breakage and knotting and fairy knots and stuff like that mm -hmm. because, because of the curl pattern. So you want to trim it a little bit more frequently. How frequently would you say? Because I know if someone, for example, has straight hair, it's a lot easier to see when they start getting damaged ends. Curly hair can sometimes hide it a little better. Yeah, it depends on your curl pattern. Really, the tighter the curl, the more frequently. But I suggest every four months is ideal. Okay, so that's not too, that's not too frequent. That's pretty good. Yeah, give your chance a, a hair, hair a chance to grow. Um, if you're trying to just maintain the length, three months is good. Every three months. And how do you, as a stylist, feel when someone kind of maintains their curls at home a little bit in between? Do you frown upon that greatly, or? <laughs> I actually teach my clients how to do, go home and do their hair themselves. It's imperative for me to, to make sure that they understand what they're doing. At the end of the day, you know, if their hair looks good, Guess who gets good feedback? <laughs> it's a representation of you. <laughs> it's a representation of me. I know the shape is going to be great, right? Mm -hmm. Because we give her a good shape, but the maintenance, right? We want the curls to also look good every day. Mm -hmm. So we go through maintenance regimes and we send you home with a take home guide so you know exactly what we did and what we used. So you can go home and replicate the same thing. Oh, that's amazing. That's actually really cool. Not a lot of fun to see that. And is there a huge difference between a kind of like a wet cut and a dry cut and what it'll um, give you? Like, will you kind of recommend a dry cut for maintenance and maybe a nice you know full cut? There's, it's just a difference in approach, right? A wet cut's gonna give you a really good foundation. A dry cut's gonna give you a really good shape. So what we do here, we do variation cutting, wet and dry. So we get the best of both worlds. And our clients do a lot of blowouts as well. We have clients mm -hmm. that do blowouts, you know, do very different, various stuff with their hair. So, um, I find too, when you do a variation cut, the hair actually lasts longer without getting snagged or mm -hmm. like knots on the ends um, because your approach has been checked several times, you know, for a proper shape. Well, thank you. That's, I think, all my questions. So, question. If we have more, I'll ask some throughout, but otherwise, thank you.
Yeah, the layers are going to make it uh, mm -hmm. just cascade better. I'm going to need the ears here just real tight. <laughs> but it's actually really long. It just needs to. I like mine. I feel like it's still longer than mine. Yours is just loose? Yeah. All set, thank you so much. All right, everyone, this is the final look. Work it, work it, angles, get it, get it. Can I get a little spin, please? Guys, it's an actual shape now. I'm gonna shed a tear. It's an actual shape, framing her face from all angles. How do you feel? So, um, a little shorter. <laughs> Um, but, but but I now have a proper shape, not just me oh, you know, cutting here and there. So um, I'm expecting a great grow out from this, and of course uh, keeping my hair healthy. I have been slacking lately on doing heated uh, deep conditioner treatments, um, so I just been you know throwing on a cap instead of sitting under a bonnet. So I'm going to be doing more of that and back to scalp massages for that good health growth. But yeah, so all of that with my great shape. Thank you for Hey everyone, so we're leaving. It happened. She got her hair shaped, which is a little bit more than a trim. It's considered a cut but it will grow to be a beautiful, beautiful shape. And you lost some dead ends, right? That's a plus, plus. <laughs> She's not sad. She's not crying. Stop crying. <laughs> We're a really emotional team. Me when it comes to food, her when it comes to her hair, it's just how we roll. But uh, I think it looks fantastic. I think it shows off her beautiful face. Shout out to Kina at Urban Curls for educating us. And now hopefully we are able to show some educational information for you guys as well and look forward to seeing you guys in our next video don't forget to subscribe by the way <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, new and we, we learned you're supposed to say that so please <laughs> subscribe we promise we'll get you good content and we'll see you next time yeah.